As the sun ascends and paints the sky with hues of pink and gold, we find ourselves standing on the threshold of a new day. It's a moment pregnant with promise, a canvas awaiting the strokes of divine providence. Let's take a breath, inhaling the sweet fragrance of hope that fills the air, and exhale gratitude for the gift of life and opportunity that this dawn brings. Today, we will look at seeking God first and how He is able to open new doors for you and I am going to release a very powerful prayer for you in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Kindly watch till the end. Believe and open your heart to receive the blessings that comes with this prayer. Please like, comment, share this video with others. Leave your prayer requests and we will pray with you. In this journey called life, the compass that guides us true north is the wisdom of seeking God first. As we read in the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus beckons us to prioritize our pursuit of the divine. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Matthew 6 verse 33 ESV This timeless truth reminds us that when we align our hearts with God's will, he graciously bestows upon us his abundant blessings. Consider the story of Abraham, the father of faith, who embarked on a journey of obedience and trust in God's promises. In Genesis, we witness how Abraham heeded the call to leave his homeland and set out for a land unknown to him. Despite the uncertainties that lay ahead, Abraham's unwavering faith paved the way for divine favor and provision. Through his descendants, God's promise of blessing to all nations was fulfilled, demonstrating the profound impact of seeking God first in all things. As we stand at the threshold of this new day, let's emulate Abraham's faith by entrusting our journey into the hands of the Almighty. Let's relinquish our fears and doubts, knowing that as we seek God first, He will illuminate our path and open doors of opportunity beyond our imagination. But how do we embark on this journey of seeking God first? It begins with prayer, the sacred dialogue between humanity and the divine. Let's not merely utter words into the void, but let our prayers be a heartfelt invitation for God to walk beside us every step of the way. Let's invite him into the mundane moments and the monumental milestones, knowing that his presence transforms the ordinary into the extraordinary. So, as we stand on the threshold of this new day, let's bow our heads and lift our voices in a blessed morning prayer. Let it be a symphony of gratitude, trust, and surrender, a melody that resonates with the heavens and sets the tone for the day ahead. And as we journey forth, let's do so with the assurance that as we seek God first, He will indeed lead us into paths of blessing and opportunity beyond our wildest dreams. Seeking God first means prioritizing Him above all else in our lives. It involves aligning our thoughts, actions, and decisions with His will, regardless of our own desires or ambitions. This commitment requires a daily surrender of our plans and aspirations to God, acknowledging His sovereignty and trusting in His guidance. Abraham serves as a poignant example of seeking God first. When God called him to leave his homeland and embark on a journey to an unknown destination, Abraham demonstrated unwavering faith and obedience. Despite the uncertainty and discomfort of leaving behind everything familiar, including his family and possessions, Abraham trusted in God's promise and followed his direction. Genesis 12 verse 1 records this pivotal moment. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country, and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. Abraham's obedience in seeking God's plan above all else resulted in profound blessings. He became the father of nations, and through his descendants, God's covenant promises were fulfilled. Abraham's example teaches us that seeking God first involves a radical trust and reliance on his promises, even when they seem improbable or challenging. In our own lives, seeking God first requires intentional effort and continual surrender. It means starting each day with prayer, inviting God to lead and guide us in all that we do. It involves seeking His wisdom through Scripture 
and seeking His presence through prayer and worship. When faced with decisions, seeking God first means seeking His counsel and aligning our choices with His Word. Ultimately, seeking God first is a transformative journey, a journey of faith, obedience, and intimacy with the Creator. As we prioritize God above all else, He promises to direct our paths, provide for our needs, and lead us into a life of abundance and fulfillment. Prioritizing God transforms our perspective, allowing us to view challenges as opportunities for His divine intervention. Consider the story of Daniel in the lion's den. Faced with the threat of certain death, Daniel didn't succumb to despair. Instead, he saw it as an opportunity for God to display his power and faithfulness. Daniel's commitment to seeking God's presence first, even in the face of adversity, is exemplified in Daniel 6 verse 10, where he continued to pray despite the decree against it. Daniel's unwavering faith not only spared his life, but also served as a testament to God's greatness in the eyes of a pagan king. His steadfast trust in God's sovereignty and protection led to his deliverance and brought glory to God's name. Similarly, when we prioritize God in our lives, we shift our focus from our circumstances to his unlimited power and grace. Psalm 37 verse 5 reminds us to commit our ways to the Lord and trust in Him, promising that He will act on our behalf. This trust is not passive but requires an active, daily decision to surrender control to God and allow Him to guide our steps. When we make the conscious choice to seek God first, we invite His presence to permeate every aspect of our lives. It's a continual surrender of our will and desires to His perfect plan. As we entrust our lives to Him, He promises to lead us, protect us, and work all things together for our good. So let us follow Daniel's example and commit ourselves wholeheartedly to seeking God first. Let us trust in His faithfulness and power to overcome any challenge that may come our way. And as we do, May our lives be a testimony to His glory and a reflection of His love to the world around us. Prayer serves as our direct line of communication with God, enabling us to express our fears, hopes, and gratitude directly to Him. This profound truth was deeply understood by David, the psalmist known as a man after God's own heart. In Psalm 63 verse 1, David passionately declares, O God! You are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. This verse encapsulates David's unwavering devotion to seeking God above all else, even amidst challenging circumstances. David's life was marked by both moments of great distress and immense joy. Yet his commitment to seeking God first remained unwavering. He understood the importance of starting each day in meditation and prayer, recognizing that it sets the tone for everything that follows. By filling his mind with God's word and his heart with his presence, David found the strength and courage to face any challenge that came his way. Similarly, when we prioritize prayer and meditation on God's word, we open ourselves to his transformative power and guidance. It is in these moments of communion with God that we find solace, strength, and direction for the day ahead. Just as David's prayers sustained him through the trials of life, so too can our prayers anchor us in the midst of life's storms. Starting each day in prayer is not merely a ritual but a spiritual discipline that aligns our hearts with God's will and prepares us to navigate the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. As we earnestly seek God's presence and guidance, we can trust that He will sustain us and lead us into paths of righteousness and blessing. So let us follow David's example and prioritize prayer as the foundation of our day. Let us thirst for God's presence as eagerly as David did, knowing that in His presence, we find the strength, peace, and joy that sustain us through all circumstances. When we prioritize seeking God first, we position ourselves in alignment with His divine will, thereby unlocking the doors to blessings and opportunities beyond our wildest imagination. 
The remarkable journey of Joseph serves as a vivid illustration of this truth. Despite being sold into slavery by his own brothers and subsequently wrongfully imprisoned, Joseph's unwavering faith in God never wavered. He steadfastly maintained his commitment to God's supremacy in his life, even in the darkest of circumstances. Joseph's story culminates in a miraculous turn of events when he interprets Pharaoh's dreams and is elevated from the confines of a prison cell to the prestigious position of second in command over all of Egypt, Genesis 41. Through Joseph's leadership, Egypt was spared from a devastating famine, and his own family found refuge and provision. Joseph's journey exemplifies the profound impact of seeking God earnestly and trusting in his timing and plans. Despite the trials and tribulations he faced, Joseph remained faithful, confident that God would orchestrate his steps according to his sovereign will. In doing so, God not only redeemed Joseph's suffering, but also used him as an instrument of salvation for an entire nation. Similarly, when we wholeheartedly seek God, surrendering our desires and plans to his divine guidance, he orchestrates our steps and leads us through doors of opportunity that we may have never noticed or opened on our own. His timing is perfect, and his plans are far greater than we can comprehend. So let us emulate Joseph's example of steadfast faith and unwavering trust in God's providence. Let us commit ourselves to seeking God first in all things, confident that as we do, he will guide us, protect us, and lead us into a future filled with his abundant blessings and opportunities. Let us join our hearts in prayer. Heavenly Father, in this quiet moment of dawn, we stand before you with hearts open and hands lifted in surrender. We acknowledge you as the sovereign ruler of our lives, knowing that when we seek you first, all else falls into place according to your perfect plan. Guide our steps today, Lord, and open the doors that you have prepared for us. May your will be done in our lives, and may our actions bring glory to your name. Grant us the wisdom to see the world through your eyes, Lord, and the courage to respond to your call with unwavering faith. As we embark on this day's journey, may your presence go before us, leading us in paths of righteousness and blessing. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. As you step out into the world today, carry this prayer in your heart as a beacon of hope and assurance. Let it be a reminder that when you seek God first, He is faithful to take care of everything else. Walk with confidence, knowing that each step you take is guided by His light, and every door that opens is placed there by His loving hand. Trust in His provision, and may His peace be with you every moment of this day. Amen. Mark 11 verse 24 says, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Join me as we go to the Lord in prayer. Open your heart and believe so that the blessings of this prayer will come to you. Say this prayer with faith. Dear Heavenly Father, We humbly come before you today. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You, the Lord, you created the earth and the heavens, and all that is in them. I give you all the praise and glory. Thank you God for everything you have done in my life. I'm grateful for the good things and even the tough times. You've been with me through it all, and for that, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. God of mercy and compassion, please look with pity on me. I know I have sinned against you. I ask for your forgiveness. Father, Lord, have mercy on my mistakes and failures. Every mistake I have done in word, action, and deeds, Father, forgive me. For your word clearly says in 1 John 1 verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Thank you Lord Jesus for forgiving me. Now in the name of Jesus I declare the power of God against any work of the enemy. 
Every secret agenda the devil and his cohorts have plotted against me be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, your word said Christ was manifested that the works of the enemy might be destroyed. Every work of the enemy against my marriage, my job, my business, my career, my family, and children, be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name, I declare fruitfulness in every area of my life. Let the power of Christ touch my life so I bear fruit. I am fruitful in my life, in my ministry, in my marriage, in my business, in my career, in my job, and in my finances, for the Lord gives us power to make wealth. Let prosperity be my portion in Jesus' name. I will not lack but have an abundance. Lord, I want to serve you with all my heart. Anything that hinders my service, Father, deliver me. God, save me from myself, save me from people who will not lead me to you, save me from desires which are not godly, things which are not in line with your word. Father, help me obey your word. Sometimes the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Lord, Make me strong, make me fervent in you. Restore unto me, Lord, the joy of my salvation. Father, restore all the things I have lost, either by my ignorance or carelessness. You said in your word that the years the locust has eaten in our lives, you will restore us. Thank you, Lord, for restoring me, my family, my marriage, my career, and my ministry. Father, you sent forth your word to heal our diseases and sicknesses. I declare your healing from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Father, heal my family, friends, and loved ones. Let your healing be their portion too. I boldly declare that I am a child of God. I walk in victory through faith. I am the head and never the tail. I am what God says I am in Jesus' mighty name. I boldly declare Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He mocketh me to lie down in green pastures, he letteth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul, he letteth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you, my Father God, for hearing my prayer and answering my prayer. Amen. As this message has blessed you, type the word Amen in the comment section and share with us your testimony too in the comment section. In the name of Jesus Christ, all these blessings have come upon you now. Beloved, help us spread the gospel of Christ and reach more people all over the world by liking this video and sharing this message with your family, friends, and loved ones. We really appreciate your great support. We plead with you to subscribe so you can receive more videos that will revive your spirit and uplift your life. Christ came that all people will be saved. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, this is the right time to do so. Say this after me. Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and because of me, you came to die on the cross of Calvary. Father, forgive me of all my sins. Today, I boldly declare that you are my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my heart and lead me. As you have said this prayer, congratulations you have been born again. Please look for a pastor in a Bible-believing church and tell him you have given your life Christ. You will need to fellowship with other believers to learn about your new life. Prayer is a very powerful tool God has given us. With prayer our problems receive solution and we get comforted by God. 
please leave your prayer request in the comment section. We are constantly interceding on your behalf before God. Trust me friends, our God will answer your every prayer request. Sometimes we may not reply to your prayer request in the comment section, but that does not mean we are not praying for you. We have you at heart in your requests. May the grace of our Jesus Christ and the love of God be with you now and forevermore. Amen.